what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in this the description box below i'm gonna do a soulmate in separation reading because the song that's coming through is when does cry by prince and the part that's sticking out is you know how can you just leave me standing alone in a world that's so cold maybe i'm just like my mother or father maybe i'm just like my father too cold maybe i'm just like my mother She's never satisfied. Why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when the doves cry. And it's it's a part of this song where he says even doves have pride. So it's like where Prince was looking at himself as the dove, right? Because it's like, can you? how can you leave me standing in a world so cold? Even doves have pride. I don't know. It's very, very weird. But, um, this is what it sounds like when the doves cry. Mm. There's definitely somebody that's missing you. Soulmates and separation reading. Let's see what they would say if they were in your face at this time. Spirit, ancestors, if and guys, if the person that is on the collective's mind at this time was standing in their face, what would they say? soul contract the lessons i learned from us will never be forgotten okay so this person knows that you and them have a deep spiritual bond okay and there is something about your connection that taught them a lot of lessons not only just about life but about how you treat people how karma does catch up to you especially when you treat good people bad you know what i'm saying i feel like there's an energy of them trying to heal from something okay there could have been something that they were dealing with themselves okay maybe some kind of trauma that they learned they were dealing with themselves and they were trying to heal and this is something that you didn't see okay is that Maybe there was some childhood issues. Maybe something had happened along the way where they were still trying to heal from that. And in order for them to heal, like it's like they love the shit out of you, but they're not healed from whatever they went through. So they had to make a sacrifice. It's almost like if they continued to be with you, Knowing that they're unhealed, they are going to continue to hurt you. So that's a part of their sacrifice. They're thinking about you every day. The lessons you have taught them spiritually, physically, about self-love, they'll never forget that. But they know in order to be with you, that there's some things that they have to heal from in order to be with you. Now, this is beautiful because it's like, oh, they're the ones that started all the issues, right? Blah, blah, blah. Well, you got to look back to what caught... There's a June bug in here. There it is. I got the door open. I'm going to shut the door because now I'm going to freak out. Um, Yeah, you know, um, there's something about your energy that taught themselves that they need to love themselves before they can love anybody else. And what they have realized is they can't truly love you and give you what you deserve until they truly love themselves. So, they, so yeah, they're a fuck up. Yeah, they continuously make mistakes and stupid decisions. But what happened? What along their journey has caused them to be this way, right? What shadow work, what dark side of them needs to heal in order for them to push past that? And love themselves more than to make these stupid ass decisions, right? And so this person definitely knows that you and them have this deep soul contract. And you are teaching them a lot about self-love. A lot about healing their past. 
All I can hear is that June bug and bottom of the deck, which you don't see. Hope I haven't given up on us yet. Okay. So even though it seems like they're focusing on themselves or there's some things like we got to put their, ourselves in their shoes too. Even if they're the ones that hurt us, like, okay, now they're growing. That's something to send gratitude to the divine because they're healing themselves. They're healing a dark side of their selves. Your soul contract opened it up. Let's see about your side over here, the collective side. Look, shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. Spirit, come through. I cannot make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. Literally just said this. I let my pride get in the way of this connection. What you did was you opened up this person's shadow side. You made them realize how egotistical how selfish they are this person is so prideful they would rather walk away from somebody that they truly love rather than apologize and take accountability and so now this is something that they reflect on this is why there's a separation because you taught this person some lessons about self-love about healing and about their flaws you ripped them open you showed them their shadow side. They walked away or they wouldn't text you or, or apologize or make amends due to their ego, their pride. They lost the best thing in their life. What causes them to act like this? So instead of trying to run towards you, this person is growing to a point where they're asking themselves, what is causing me to do this? And they're healing those parts of themselves, that shadow side, so that they can be a better person to be with you, okay? Yeah, by lying, I ripped us apart. They could have lied. They could have, might not have been quite as honest, okay? Let's see, let's get some clarifiers on this. Spirit, ancestors, and guides for this soul contract. For this soul contract, spirit, let me move this down. For this soul contract, spirit, ancestors, and guides. For this soul contract. Nobody is like you. You are exceptional. You are special. Yeah. That they know that they have this deep connection with you. Literally, they can move on to a thousand people. And they can try to replace you with a hundred different people. But nobody will ever be like you. Nobody is like you. There is an exceptional quality about you that stands out that is different. There is an authentication, like an authentic energy about you that stands out where it's like you're too real to fake it, to make it. You know what I'm saying? You hold a very, very special place in this person's heart. They try like, even if you guys were into it and they, like, tried to move on, like, nobody, there is just, like, even on a friend level, on a soul level, on a lover level, like, nobody is like you. And they know it's something deeper. And you're the person that opened them up, ripped them open, showed them their flaws, made them work on their shadow side. You are helping them heal, and they are healing right now. Let's see about this self-love that this person has going on here, Spirit. I am working on myself each day so I can come to you as my complete self. I cannot make this shit up. So to clarify cl self-love, I am still healing. This person is letting you know that they are working on themselves each day. They are slowly but surely healing themselves and the parts of themselves, asking them themselves questions of why they act the way they do so they can come to you as their complete whole self, not somebody that's going to continue to hurt you, okay? Let's see about this ego and pride that caused them to walk away instead of taking accountability, apologizing, fixing things. One day, I believe we will be together again. Yeah, they know they fucked up. They know they fucked up by not taking accountability. They know that they walked away. It was like 
they walked away quickly, okay? And it was out of ego. It was out of pride. It was almost like they rushed or moved too fast. Y'all can just see my vape chilling here. Um, it's like they moved too fast, okay? But Spirit, they want you to know that one day they truly believe that the two of you guys will be together. You are exceptional. They feel this deep soul contract with you. But they know to be with you, they need to heal. They don't want to hurt you again. And that's why they're working on themselves each day so that they can come back to you as their whole complete self. They truly feel like you will be together again. That shadow side. Deliver me from temptation. You have opened up their flaws. You have showed them their flaws. Let's get a clarification on this shadow side spirit. My pride and ego led us astray. I cannot make this shit up. I am done, spirit. Okay, no, I'm not done. I love you guys, okay? My pride and ego led us astray. Instead of taking accountability... They let their pride get in their way. This is you realizing, helping them realize their flaws. Why did I walk away? Why did I ignore this person? Why did I treat this person this way that I love so fucking much? Why am I not talking to them? Why am I making them wait? Like, why am I walking away from the person I love the most in my life instead of having a, a conversation with them and figuring this out? What is causing me to run from my problems and especially push the people that I love the most away? I feel like this is an issue with this person. They push the people they love the most away. They don't want to hold accountability, but you're making them realize their fault flaws. And during this separation, they're working on their shadow side. They're working on themselves very hard so that when they come to you, they come to you complete and they don't hurt you again. You're exceptionally special to them. And they do believe that you guys will be together again one day. They regret their past mistakes, which you don't see. And they wish they can have another chance with you. Bottom of the deck. So this person definitely regrets whatever happened in the past between the two of you guys. Okay. And they hope that at some point you will eventually give them a second chance because they're truly working on like their shadow side. What makes them act this way? Let's see. Let's get a card on this person, this exceptional person, this soul contract here, spirit. Setting clear boundaries, struggling to come up. So this is just this person, okay? This person has a lot of, of self-imposed li limiting beliefs that makes them feel like they're not good enough or like you're too good for them or you'll end up leaving them. And it's like, no, okay? That's not what's going to happen. I feel like it, you have to set really, really clear boundaries with this person because you know you had to. You had to. This person would continuously hurt you. And it came to a point where you had no motherfucking choice but to set a very, very clear boundary with this person. I'm done. I don't know why, why you act this way. I don't know why you do the things that you do. I don't know why you're so egotistical and prideful. But you need to heal. There's things that you need to work in, on. And I feel like you set up boundaries with this person. And now this person is reminiscing on the past moments between the two of you guys. Feeling like they're not good enough, but not realizing that it's, look, it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. They can't say goodbye. And I feel like this is for both of you guys. You guys are both reminiscing on the past. You're both reminiscing on those moments and it's very, very hard to permanently say goodbye to one another to make that forever, okay? And so whoever this is, they are changing and they are changing for the better, choosing the right path for us, not just for them, not just for their own selfish needs, 
No, they're changing. They're looking deep inside themselves. They're working on their shadow sides and they're choosing the right path, not just for them, but for you too. Soul mirroring, exposing and revealing all. I feel like everything that you needed to see, everything you needed to hear has been exposed. It's been revealed, okay? And if it hasn't yet, spirit is going to bring it all to light, okay? Okay? Because that's what happened when somebody, when that, that, that lower vibrational person starts to awaken and they start to work on their shadow side, here comes the devil. Here comes their past coming up to haunt them, okay? So as they're starting to choose the right path and they're changing and they're doing better and they're trying to be the best version of themselves for you, here comes their past coming up to haunt them, okay? And I feel like even with this past coming up haunting them, okay, I feel like it's going to be hard for you to stay, stay, say goodbye to them. I feel like you're, you're going to walk down that path right along with them because bottom of the deck, that passion, that desire that the two of you guys have for each other, it's still alive. It's burning. And I feel like you're ready. They're ready. Hmm. All right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.